Hello everyone, happy Friday, Ashley here. Friday, um, how are you guys doing? I am pumped that it's Friday. Um, so I, some of you are in both of my groups. I have our boot camp running on Facebook and then I also have another one running on our app, our challenge tracker app. Um, so I actually, um, it's the same content on both groups, but um, it's I can't do a live video on the app group. So I actually record my videos and then I put them on YouTube and then I copy that over. So I'm actually recording um, from my computer camera and on my phone live and then um, from my computer. So if you see me like looking at both cameras, that's why it's a little crazy, right? So um, always because my phone storage is full normal life. Mom of three kids and, um, you know, selfie lover. So that's me. No regrets. Anyway, uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about upper body workouts. Last week I talked a little bit about lower body. Um, hi Angie. Hi Katie. Um, last week I talked about lower body glutes, booty, um, quads, legs, you know, the importance of strengthening your legs for various reasons. Um, but today I want to talk about upper body and why it's important that we do upper body workouts as well. So, um, as you may know from some of the programs that we have, um, hi, from some of the programs that we have accessible, um, there are specific days for upper body or arm day or, you know, if you've done body beast, you notice that there's, you know, an, a bicep, tricep, um, chest, shoulders, you know, there's a, a specific science to why we work certain muscle groups um, and why we do them separately from others. So arm workouts, um, arm, upper body, those are, I love, love, love leg day because of that added calorie burn, and I talked a little bit about that last week, but I love upper body for so many reasons. First, when you have a stronger upper body, you have so much better posture. When you are, when you're working your, you know, your core, your chest, your back, all of that, it tends to, it, it tends to act as a corset a little bit, and it tends to pull everything in together. When your back is a lot more, you know, muscular, um, and, and I'm not saying you have to be a bodybuilder here. When you work your back and, and shoulder muscles regularly, just by doing like, for example, 21 day fix, upper body fix, um, you tend to work a lot of your upper body in that. So when you do that, you gain, you gain a lot of strength back here in this area, you know, from laying on the floor, doing those chest presses or doing, you know, those rainbow shoulder things that kill your shoulders. Those help strengthen all of these muscles. And then that does act like a corset um, and kind of helps tighten and tone everything up. So then you do tend to have a little bit better posture. And when your posture overall is better, when you're, when you're sitting up a little bit higher, not only does that expand, Duke, go, your diaphragm, that helps you breathe deeper. Um, I'm sorry guys, get Duke, go. Um, but you expand your diaphragm, that muscle underneath your lungs that, that expands when you breathe in and out. Um, so when you, when you, when you have better posture, that allows for more expansion in your diaphragm so you can breathe deeper. You can get more oxygenation to your body. Um, and just overall you, you have better, you can breathe easier. Um, you're not hunched over, you're not, you know, hunched over your desk, whatever it is. Um, hey Sarah, you have, um, you have a lot better just overall, like, I don't know, breathing. I, breathing is what I was really going for. That was real, the point that I was trying to nail home there. Um, but, but that really helps by, you know, working those, those upper body muscles really helps with your posture and things like that. So um, not only is posture a key thing for upper body workouts, but it also helps fight combat um, unnecessary injuries. So if you are um, moving, lifting, picking things up, putting things down, carrying children, um, shoving your dog out of the way, whatever it is, um, having a stronger upper body is going to help you 
help prevent you from getting any kind of injuries from doing that. So, um, hey, Rusty, Rusty, catching, yep, of course, lunchtime, hey. Um, so, um, so yes, um, you know, your, your injuries that you can sustain from not having those muscles very tight, from not working those muscles regularly. Um, you may have done it before, I know I have. You bend down to reach something and you yank or tweak something and then you're like, oh my God, you know, your neck hurts, your back hurts, your shoulder hurts, whatever it is, you're just like, you feel sick because whenever you pull a muscle like that, you just, it, you just feel sick. If, who has pulled something in their neck before? Like I guarantee you, when you have, you just feel like you can't do anything at all and it's just such a little feeling. Um, so that is the point of working and strengthening those upper body muscles regularly. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just looking at my notes here. Um, so you can definitely do a combination of upper body strength type workouts. Um, hey Sam, um, you can do, you know, a chest day, a shoulder day, a bicep tricep day, a chest and tricep day. You can pick and choose from all of the workouts that you guys have access to. You can do the body beast workouts. You can add in extra workouts. If you feel like you're not getting enough upper body strength, I think I said that earlier, then drop down and do 20 push-ups. Um, do something that's going to that's gonna challenge you or throw in an extra workout. Throw in an upper fix. Throw in um, you know, a body beast arms workout, do a little something that's going to challenge yourself. Um, and, and give you a little bit more, um, opportunity to continue to work those muscles. So your, these programs are all designed by professional trainers. They are all designed to help you maximize your results. They all work as long as you work with them. Um, but if you are wanting an additional little bit of challenge, um, whether it's lower, upper, whatever it is, I definitely encourage you to throw in an extra workout. You can't do too much work. I mean, literally, if you're spending six hours in the gym, then you're, yeah, no, like, don't do that. But if you've got a 30-minute workout and you're doing, you know, a cardio and you're like, I think I want to do some more upper body stuff, throw another upper body workout in, in your routine. It's not going to... Um, it's not going to jeopardize your results. You're going to get stronger. You're going to see better results. Um, I do strongly encourage using weights during your workouts because of the fact that you do burn more calories when you have more muscle mass overall, but you also burn more calories during your workout when you're using some kind of resistance too. And resistance makes us, resistance makes us stronger. Resistance makes the heart grow stronger. <laughs> can, I, can we say that? Oh, cheesy, right? Um, so anyway, um, upper body workouts are, you know, they're key for posture. They're key for preventing you from injury. Um, and just arms. I mean, we can all agree, right? That like having a little bit of muscle on your arm or like having a little bit of muscle on your shoulders or something like that, it looks pretty nice. You know, I think we've all seen Jennifer Aniston's arms and been like those are nice. So um, anyway, uh, I hope you guys have a happy Friday. Any questions about arm workouts, just let me know. Um, there is no specific, like number one way to do the best arm workouts ever. Like there's, you will, if you Google, you know, what are the best arm workouts, you're going to find hundreds of thousands. Um, you, some people say that it's better to just do isolated bicep and tricep type workouts. Some people say that you get really great muscle definition from doing overall upper body workouts like rows and like presses and chest presses on the bench, all things that will build and grow your arms. So there, you know, there's no 100% specific way to make your arms any better than any other. Um, you can, you know, just doing those upper workouts that are going to target those various muscles is really going to help. So happy Friday, everyone. Have a great day. Um, we will do this again next Friday with another Fitness Tip Friday. And you guys have a lovely, lovely afternoon. Bye.